doing his interview, he literally said that he got a phone call on the way to university uh, and just realized, okay, I'm not going to uni today. I am instead going to be traveling to Romania uh, and getting stuck straight into an RMR, his second RMR run. He's always been sick on a scout as well. Some players have the magic touch with this weapon, and he's one of them. He's waiting for the push to come on in. The warning shot goes out. It baits them up close. This is where SDY will swing. Lights up one. They've got some tags out. Low on Kakinito, but no joy as the nade blows him off. That was a bit of safe passage, but Bro connecting the deagle onto oh. Jacob, and Demk also going in for one of his own. Suddenly, it spins into a very awkward position. Kakinito on just 9 HP. He's trying to fend off and be the shield for Stiko's plant. Successful plant down. Kakanito with the spray for one. Low HP bars on the CTs, but so the same for the T's and the Deagle. Shots go awry, allowing Apex to take a 2 0. But that's going to be a, a quick. We were talking about his talent, and he can come alive, obviously, into this round as well. You know you've got the added blessing of not much to work with for Monty. So he's just looking for a couple of freebies down towards the stack on the site. A freebie, he shall be gifted. And there's a second one as well. Jacob just cleaning it up. Kakanito's got two of his own. Glock is pulled out for a 3k. And although Kakanito finds himself on 37, it's unlikely that SDY is going to get much out from a P2000. That's a clean looking skin, though. Super clean. I don't think I've seen that one before. P2000 silver, mate. It is just the silver. Oh, nice. It used to look a lot worse in CS Go. I was going to say, Massively yeah. <laughs> buffed in CS2. It, what those it's skins pretty did. nice. Yeah. You might not need to see him don the scope for a fair few rounds, especially if they can keep the bonus alive going into this one. They've forced Monty into a bit of an uncomfortable spot already. They're playing for the retake and on the choke points. Ooh, it looked like it was going to quite quickly fall into an apex round. But Bro at least finds one head. So a manageable situation unless this man continues his domination. Lots of damage onto Demka as well. As the drop from Kakanito has softened up the oncoming CTs. Crossfire in, Nock gets two. Looking for a third, sprays it down. Locks into position from the Swede, and in doing so, Apex in their bonus round get a 4 0 lead. Getting those opening picks towards mid just give you so much more map control to work with. It might not matter though, as the push on the extremity we needed to worry about. And Nork, ready for the entries. Almost getting himself free, but Krasnall replies. Oh, wide swing with a tag onto the back line. He's softened them up, but it's just bro. It's a one versus four. About 40 seconds left on the timer. He's getting himself into a good angle at least. That's the problem though, isn't it? When you're in that kind of an angle and you know that your back is exposed, there was actually a player coming round from the backside as well, going to be getting into cams in a few moments. Monty knows that a lot of mid control has been taken for free into these rounds, so they're instead playing on the further back angles, looking to support each other when the push comes in. But Jacob with a snapshot straight to the face. And the issue is those were the two players set to defend towards the A site. It's the backup from B that now has to arrive. Mid's open for Nork, and he's finding the freebies. Down to just two, and it keeps getting worse. Yeah, this is looking pretty grim, isn't it? A freebie kill for Kranz now wants to wait to see if a second player shows himself. He does have a kit, actually. Is he going to try and go onto the site and ninja defuse? Oh, oh no. Oh, hold up. Stiko. This is what we're talking about, man, where many players would just leave. Stiko sticks in here, and Hang he should on. be able to deny this one. Yeah, there's no way. Krasnal may get the frag. I don't think he's got the time for this one. It's going to be very close, but there's the extra shutdown from Nork. Nice try, Krasnal. Honestly, you can see in action, Kakanik knows exactly what is going on. He just doesn't know the lineup of the smoke right now. The smoke's going to clear three players. Smoke put down, going to force them into an awkward position, but he gets caught, and Stiko wasn't quite in spot to help him out there. So a hit and run. They don't manage to get their hands on the AK, which is a bit of a down side for Monty and again Jacob cracks open mid tons of damage onto Krasnal as two of them try to wide swing out of heaven Jacob taking quite a bit of a peppering himself though so this is a bit of a scrappy round that maybe Monty can get some kind of a, a foothold into there's a timeline where they could convert this into an actual round especially when bro gets the flank off through camera oh more headshots than a photographer on that one and it is all down to Nork. He's got to give up the round. Finally, they pull one off. And that's with what? MP9s and a four-man set up towards the B site? Okay, Monty, here we go. 
Kakanito may have taken some damage, but he's brute forced his way into dark and forced away those CTs in the process. Who going for the peak? Molotov down, and there's the shot from Moro. Got his first, wanted a second. Can't quite connect onto it, but he's got the backup of Krasnel. And this spells a bit of a rough start for Apex to the following round. Sense. Ooh, something was tingling. He spotted the player through the back of the smoke. Does damage. Demko with the info as well. Onto Beaker now. Peeking out, looking Ooh. for the quick trade. But Stiko actually gets two. Bringing it down to a one versus two for this man himself. Switching from AWP to AK. Excuse me, Stiko. That second headshot was a little bit spicy. The sub die young. He is here and he has arrived. The third kill and a second round on the side of Monty. That's is he going to walk straight into the scope of Waro though? He sees a little bit of the body on the peak, has to back off. Timing on it's going to be awkward. Dives around the corner and is still alive. That's the important fact, but Sense with a fadeaway shot. Demka tries to deny. Waro's getting tags, but the site itself is gone. It is uh, playing for retake again and potential save again. T side, they're playing off spawns, making the most of Jacob's aggression. And now they're going to be walking into the gauntlet. And the close line of AK sprays them down for three headshots. Apex 8-4 in the lead, and Monty can't buy a round at this point. Once again, Monty have been brute forced, evicted out of the site. This is now Apex territory, their domain. You have to walk into their lair, and it's fraught with threats. In the lead. Trailblazing on their T side. We'll at least get that opening pick. So you've taken down Stiko, but again, it's mid that's entirely open. They're bleeding their way through. Jacob's been so good at finding frags down through camera. Rips another head off. Demka trades it back. We're into a three versus four, so there is an edge for Monty. There is. They have to convert this. They, they have to get a 9-3 half here. There's ways forward if they do find success, but Kakanito's going to be going out first. Multiple players around here. First spray off. Does connect some shots on the second one. Nork next up to the plate, but there we have it. Finally, a solid lockdown. It took 12 rounds, but we got there eventually. He's been eating a breakfast of Nitro. He wants to blow them away. Dooley's in the back line. Will they clear it? Headshot connection onto the first. The right hook will go wide, though, and SDY trades it back on the Glock. At least you've taken sight control. You can punch in those digits and get the bomb planted, but the flashbang comes in early. Steco sprints in, swinging with the doolies, looking for damage, but it's none to be found as Monty put the foot down and take that pistol. That's exactly what they were looking for. No audio cue. They haven't ran towards the A site, so the player DP main wouldn't have got the information. Nork eats the grenade. SDY with a Mac 10 can farm a whole load of money as the Mac Daddy is back on the server for Monty. This is starting to look a little bit dicey on the side of Monty. Oh, you've got such a quick rotation. They're already down. Krasnall's about to get stabbed in the back. He has to turn, but time is ticking. That's the additional man on the server right now. Even if he finds one with a Galil, it's all about getting the bomb plant in. And Kakanito, he knows he can roam, finds the easy frag. Jacob holds against SDY. And Apex, as soon as they get the rifles, they start to look confident again. 10-5. Apex already showing us the CT side of Anubis can be very aggro. And sense behind the pillar, not requiring to go for a wide swing in. He has a teammate there. The buddy system's been erected. And now four players making moves over onto this side of the map as well. They have such a good read of the situation because of this rotation that Nork has gone in for. And now Monty are basically screwed. They're walking into a stacked site with nothing alongside it. No grenades. And suddenly some die young alone is about to run into the flank. At least deals with that one, dispatches of Nork, but there's 10 seconds left, and there's not really anything he can do about it. He's got a turn tail. Run as fast as he can. There is a squad hunting this man down. Best case scenario with 11 HP, he limps his way through, clutching onto the Kalashnikov. Oh, last second territory for survival of one single weapon and making the most of their advantages. A lot of teams will sit back, absorb and soak in the, the pressure and the atmosphere. But Apex deciding the best course of action here is to get in the face of Monty. They're clearly not comfortable. And Jacob, with one, does a ton of damage to some die young. But that is mid. It's now changed hands. There's no one else here on Apex that can lock this down from mid itself. So Stiko's going to come up from the site, takes a little bit of damage of his own. Smoke has been deployed into cams, but they charge straight through.
He might have taken down the first head of the Hydra, but one more is waiting in its place, and that is Norg strikes. The Viper takes down SDY. It's a two versus two. Kakanito. He was a demon on their first half and wants to cause issues once again as he wrecks havoc straight in to guarantee match point for them. 12th is confirmed. And this really does piggyback a lot off what you were saying before, Jackie, about Kakanito having this very good read of the game. And he also has the confidence in his own abilities to, to follow through. He had the idea, I've got to get aggressive onto the site and make sure even if they do get a plant, I've at least neutralized one player so they can't get into post-plant positions. He catches him just off the plant and that's the round done. Kakanito's moved up to about 18 kills in... So animated, so explosive. Ooh, Nork. Could be naughty with the AWP, takes his peak down on Connector, and Krasnall's removed into the 18th round where pressure is at an all-time high. You're fighting with only four on the side of Monty. Maybe going out with a bit of a whimper here, Monty, the way things are looking. Only onto the doors, Jacob comes out. The dangerous player to poke with a stick. You may not want him to exit his cave. And he maintains that player advantage. Thiko, not for the first time, getting some shenanigans, some aggression outside of A, and getting a lot of intel in the process. Needs to survive, though. If he goes down, then that's going to put a lot more pressure on this A side of the map, where currently they have Nork laid in wait with his M4, or his AWP, pardon me. They can just hold positions here, Jackie, and it's going to be a case of Monty at some point. They're going to have to make a decision if they want to go through cams or maybe wrap around the back. But Nork has this angle covered, and if some die young peaks slow, he's going to get nailed by that AWP. It's got to be a fast swing. Oh, tries to throw off the crosshair with a crouch on a peak. Slightly delayed reaction, but still a connection nonetheless. And they're smoked off from camera. You're so paranoid as well because of the timing of Stiko. You knew that he pushed out. He could be anywhere at this point. Yeah. So it's a seed of doubt in the back of your mind thinking we could get flanked from middle. Bro has to watch that angle. And it's just down to 15 seconds. Dying embers of this round. As long as Nork finds one pick, worst case scenario, you get a bomb plant out of it. But even then, the round should be guaranteed for them. And he's not going to miss that one. All on Bro. Has the plant now. And it's a little too late. The game is gone with it. As it will go the way of Apex. What is it, dude?